What's going on guys, this is Vince with vshred.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to obtain perfect form so that you can target your rear delts properly. All right, so when it comes to targeting your rear deltoid, you first gotta understand what your rear deltoid is. It's just the, the back delt on your shoulder. Uh, it inserts into your humerus, your upper arm bone, and then it comes and runs along and inserts into your scapula. So it runs right along here. Now, a lot of times when guys are trying to target this muscle, they do not do it properly for a, a load of reasons, and that's why today I'm gonna take you through a series of three different exercises, four different exercises really, that teach you how to really target your rear delt and just make sure that they're symmetrical and that you're getting the optimal time under tension so that it can actually grow finally. Um, now, the first and biggest issue that guys or girls don't achieve when they're trying to target their rear delt is they're not protracting their scapula. And I've talked about this in other videos about targeting your posterior deltoid and it's just because when people try to do some kind of rear delt exercise, they pull, the, they pull whatever, whether they're doing cable reverse flies, whatever it is, they pull and as they pull back, they actually kind of shrug their shoulders back. So they go from here and they shrug back. And what's happening is they're targeting a little bit of their rear delt, but they're targeting a lot of their traps and their rhomboids. So the first thing that you guys need to do is make sure that you are rolling your shoulders forward and you're keeping your shoulders rolled forward and then you're not going past parallel with your body, past level. So a lot of times guys push their weight back and they go too far. You don't want to go that far. You only want to stop to about there and that's about it. So, so that, those are the first two tips before we get into any exercise. Now the first exercise that I'm going to be showing is a single arm reverse cable fly and that is because Sometimes guys won't be exactly symmetrical and they'll have trouble maybe stimulating one rear delt as much as the other. Maybe one will get bigger, maybe one will get stronger. So the first thing that you guys need to do is do these exercises unilaterally. That just means one at a time. So this is the first exercise. All you're gonna do is roll your shoulder forward, whatever shoulder that you're working, whatever delt you're working, you're gonna roll this forward and then from here it's gonna be across your chest and then you're gonna keep it rolled forward you're gonna bring it out and you're gonna bring it out to not, your, like a lot of times guys would think that you bring this all the way back here. There's no point to this. You're not working anything but your traps and your rhomboids, maybe even a little bit of your tricep doing this. Because once your shoulder is rolled forward, this automatically comes almost in front of your body. So roll your shoulder forward, bring it across your body, keeping it rolled forward. Really try to crush that area of your shoulder. Roll it forward. Right there, all the way across, all the way out, keeping that roll forward, squeezing, and back. And you wanna make sure that you're doing that with both arms. You don't wanna do one more than the other, so make sure you're counting your reps. But that is the first exercise to teach you how to target each posterior deltoid evenly so that you don't get one stronger or grow one more than the other. The second exercise that I wanna talk about is just a simple uh, reverse machine fly and most gyms will have this. If they don't, then I guess you can just skip this one and move on to the third tip after this one. Um, but what this is gonna teach you is how to target your rear delts evenly at the same time, because this is going to be, this isn't like one, um, one fixed position where one can't move on its own. They both move on their own unilaterally, but you'll be doing both of them at the same time. That way you can really focus on not only working them the same amount, but working them the same amount at the same time. So on this machine, I made a video about this before, what you wanna do is overemphasize rolling your shoulders forward, grab this weight, keep them forward, and then from here, you're gonna bring them out, and you're only gonna bring them out to about just in front of your body. So come out to the side of me. So big difference between doing this like this and doing this like this, I'm bringing them out, just to the side and that's gonna hit your rear delt a lot more. So, just like I said, you're gonna be focusing on targeting both of your rear deltoids 
the same amount at the same time. Okay, the third exercise that I wanna talk about is a chest supported dumbbell reverse fly. And the reason that I'm doing chest supported is because a big issue, okay, so first off, we've learned how to work both of our rear delts evenly, the same amount, stimulate them the same amount so that you don't build one stronger or bigger than the other. Then we learned how to work them the same amount at the same time. Now what you're gonna do is bring them onto dumbbells because with a cable or a machine, those were made to create tension on your rear delt and a kind of reverse fly to keep tension the entire time. With a dumbbell, a lot of times, you'll find them bouncing and going like this, not really getting much. You'll find them shrugging the weight up to where they're not really working their delt that much. And you'll find them not having tension on the muscle the optimal amount of time like you would say on a machine fly or a cable fly. So what the chest supported reverse fly is teaching you is A, how to cancel out any kind of momentum that you would create from bouncing and B, how to keep tension on it the entire time. So what you're gonna be doing is putting your chest on this, hopefully this doesn't mess up my mic, putting your chest on this, having your head hanging over, and then from here you're gonna roll your shoulders forward, and then you're gonna bring this weight out as far as you can and back down. A lot of times when guys are bringing this down, they bring it together, uh, maybe they'll cling these together, maybe they'll just bring their arms straight. Right here, my, arm, my delts are not being worked at all. There's no tension on my muscle. Whereas, when I roll my shoulders forward and I start just a, a foot wider out, and this is my starting position, there might not be a lot, but there's a lot more tension. There might, might not be a lot in regards to the tension you feel up here, but there's a lot more tension right here than there is when I'm just hanging the weight down. So your starting position here is going to be right here, and then from here, what you're gonna do is roll your shoulders forward and really focus on driving that weight out and up working your rear delt the entire time. And as you can see, I'm not going back down to the middle. That's a rest right there, starting right here. Up, down, rolling your shoulders forward the whole time, really focusing on hitting that posterior deltoid. All right, and now this brings us to the last exercise to really this is what you see guys doing the most in the gym is just a simple bent over reverse dumbbell fly. But usually you see them standing up using, I don't know, I've seen guys going as heavy as 60, 70, 80 pound dumbbells bending over and throwing this weight up and going like this. This is what you see all the time. This, isn't a, this is a horrible form. You're not gonna do anything to your rear delts doing that. So use what we've learned in this video. With the first one when we were doing them unilaterally, one at, the same, one at a time, you're learning how to stimulate them, at, d stimulate each separate rear delt, so your left and your right. Then on the next one, the reverse uh, machine fly, you're learning how to t stimulate both of them evenly, but at the same time. Then on the chest supported dumbbell reverse fly, you're learning how to use it with dumbbells so that you're not using a machine that was actually made for that to create tension the whole time. You're creating tension the whole time with using free weights, but then you're also learning to not bounce. So now we're gonna bring this into a regular bent over reverse dumbbell fly, and we're gonna use everything that we learned. So we're gonna use both of them. We're gonna be working both muscles evenly. So we're gonna roll our shoulders forward, bend over here, roll our shoulders forward, and then we're gonna be working both evenly. We're gonna be working both at the same time. We're not gonna be creating momentum like this, and we're gonna try to, and we're not gonna go all the way down to the bottom either. So instead of going down here and going like this, which is what you see all the time, what you're gonna do instead is roll your shoulders forward, start about here, and then from here, what you're gonna do is drive your hands out, hitting that rear delt. And this is proper form. And let me tell you, I'm only using 10 pound dumbbells. This is actually pretty difficult. Whereas if I was doing it like you see the typical douche in the gym going like this, I could literally do this a hundred times right now because there's nothing happening. Especially when I bring my hands together at the bottom, create momentum from here to from here to here is pure momentum, especially with a little bounce. So momentum plus the bounce makes it so easy and plus the shrug. So roll your shoulders forward, don't bounce, start right here, press that weight out and that's going to give you that rear delt stimulation that you need. So, the next time you go and try to hit rear delts, go through this short list of exercises. I'm not saying do four sets of each, maybe just do one set of each. Create that, that mind-muscle connection with each rear delt. 
create the mind muscle connection with them at the same time roll your shoulders forward do not cheat any kind of momentum from bouncing or from going down too too far together and really just start hitting your rear delts right because rear delts are one of the exercises that are going to help you help create that 3d physique that all these guys are going after with the big shoulders so that they look nice and aesthetic rear delts are going to help that a lot so try these out and then if you guys want any more tips i actually made a free fitness quiz where you answer a couple questions that help me figure out what your body type is what your metabolic rate is what you're struggling with and what you're trying to achieve and then it spits out a video that helps you figure out the kind of training and the kind of dieting that you need to be doing and then if you want to if you get excited by that and you want to continue on it even recommends a program at the end of that and it's your choice if you want to continue on with that or not um, so you can check it out by clicking the link in the description below other than that if you guys learned anything in this video, make sure you're clicking that thumbs up button below. If you have any uh, comments, com questions, concerns, video recommendations, I actually made this video because a lot of you have been asking for rear delt exercises saying that you can't get yours to, you can't stimulate them, you're getting your traps to grow, but that's it. Leave them in the comment section below because those help me figure out what videos I'm gonna film. And then other than that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you get notified when I'm making a new video and maybe that video is what you asked for. So guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.